In this video, we're going to look at two different ways of coming up with the general term of a geometric sequence, one given a list of numbers and one just given two of the terms. So first, if we're given a list of numbers, the biggest thing we have to find is the common ratio. If the common ratio is not obvious, you can always divide successive terms. So here we can see that we're multiplying by one half each time. But what we'd do, if we weren't sure, we'd take three halves and divide it by three which is, remember, that's the same thing as 3 halves times 1 third, or cancel as 3 is 1 half. And we can keep going. We have a common ratio of 1 half. So that's our R. Now a geometric, because we're repeatedly multiplying by 1 half, is going to be exponential. So we have a sub n equals our first term, which is 3 times 1 half and now it's not going to be to the n, it'll actually be to the n minus 1 because 3 is our first term, or what we call a sub 1. It's not actually the y-intercept. So this would be one way of writing it. Or, by properties of exponents, we could actually kind of back this up one. You know, it would be 3 times 1 half to the n times 1 half to the negative 1 1 half to the negative 1 is 2, so 6 times 1 half to the n is the other way you might see this one written. Now if all we're given is two points, we can think of these as if they were exactly that, points 3 comma 5 and 7 comma 80. So we want the exponential function going through these two points. So we can actually create a function for both um, so we know that when the exponent is 3, so a, b, let's do this one first, when, a, when n is 7, because it's going to be exponential, that we should be getting 80. And when n is 3, we should be getting 5. So we divide both sides, and this is elimination because it eliminates the a property of exponents here gives us b to the fourth equals 16 which is 2 to the fourth so our base in this case is 2 the only other thing we need is our a we can plug it into either one to get our a so we know that a times 2 cubed is equal to 5 or a times 8 equals 5, so a equals 5 eighths. So our general term in this case is going to be a sub n equals 5 eighths times 2 to the n. Now we didn't use an n minus 1 here because of the way we solved it. When you'll use the n minus 1 is when what you know is the common ratio in the first term that's a very slick, easy way to put together the formula.